Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and use your Gravity Form shortcode. So if you create a form inside Gravity Forms, this is going to be how you implement that form on a page or a post or in a sidebar or wherever you want on your WordPress site. So here we are in the WordPress dashboard of our demo site. And if we go over to Forms and hover over that, the Forms entry that is for Gravity Forms, and what you'll notice is, as I'm sure you've noticed because you're watching this video, there isn't a shortcode that's easily visible. Even if we click on the simple form to edit it, it has some information up here, ID, form name, but there's no, no place where it says shortcode, copy and paste this, like you see with other plugins. So what you have to do is go to your posts or a page, either one, and I know this is kind of convoluted, but this is the best way to do it. Open a post or a page, anyone, doesn't matter. Or if you're putting this into a post or page, open the one you want to put it into. But what we really want to do is just get the short code so you can import this into a widget as well if you wanted. So move your cursor somewhere into the editor and then there's a new add form button which is specific to the gravity forms. So we click on add form and then we're asked to select a form. In my case, I just have simple form that is created for this video. And then you can have a display the form title or not display it and enable Ajax or not. It's up to you which one you use, Ajax. The first two are self-explanatory. Ajax means if you communicate with the database, it will do it in the background without refreshing the page. And there are some advanced options that you can go through as well. I never tweaked them, there's only one, just the tab index. But when you have all that set up, click on the insert form button and then that generates the short code that you can copy and paste to wherever else you want it to go. And if you'll notice, this is the, the short code that's always used and what only thing that changes is the ID number. So our simple form had an ID of one and your next form will have an ID of two, the next one will have an ID of three. So if you memorize this, which should be fairly easy to do, but if you memorize this, you can just update the ID number, or you can always go into a poster page, add the short code this way, and then copy and paste it to wherever else you need it. So this is kind of a convoluted way of doing it. I don't know why they can't just show you the short code right on the form header or on the form list. It'd be so much easier, but they don't do that. So this is how you get the short code. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful videos just like this, and check out WPLearningLab.com where I read about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.